In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send Reddit posts directly to your Discord server. I'm talking about like the images from the subreddit Funny or any other subreddit. You can actually kind of like subscribe using this service and send them directly to your Discord server. So we're going to be using this website called Zapier.com. We've used it in past videos, actually in the want to send switch live streams, which you can watch up in the right corner if you're interested. Anyways, let's send Reddit post. First, let's go to the website Zapier.com. You're going to be requested to create an account. Just sign up. It's pretty easy. I'm already signed up. And uh, once you're on the website in the dashboard, then you're going to click here where it says make a Zap. Or you can just start right here as well. Connect this app. You're going to connect Reddit and Discord. So let's go ahead and search Reddit first, Reddit, there we go. And then we're going to select here, Discord. All right, so the first part we have is when this happens, basically we're looking for a new post on the subreddit, right? So we're gonna select here, new hot post in subreddit. And now that we have this one selected, let's move over to this one, then do this. And then we're gonna click here, send message, send channel message, right? So when we select this, we're gonna be moving forward to connect both of our accounts, the Reddit account and also the Discord server. So let's click try it. And now that we have both apps selected, let's click sign in on Reddit because it needs to take it from an account and you need to sign in with your account, right? So I'm just gonna click allow here because I'm already signed in in this browser. So that connected my Reddit account. Now let's click continue. I think we're gonna select the subreddit now, right? Yeah. So we have the subreddit. We're just going to type the name of the subreddit in lowercase without the R. So we're going to take a post from the subreddit funny. Just going to type the name of the subreddit and then just click out and hit continue. And let's click test trigger. Test trigger is going to see if it can find a post in this subreddit. So that's what it's going to do. Like the first part is just finding a post. So it says we found the post. Um, don't care about this. This is like the technical data about the post, right? And um, and I think this is the image that is going to post if I'm not mistaken. Let me just copy and check. Yeah, basically this is the post or like the thumbnail of the post that is going to um, send over. So click continue. And now we're going to select our discord server. So we're going to hit continue and it's going to ask us to sign in or to connect our discord account. So we're going to click here, sign in on discord. And I'm going to authorize my account, blah, blah, blah. So here I'm selecting my server, the invisible one. Blah, blah. There we go. Click continue. And then administrator, which it's okay. It's a trusted app and I'm a human. All right. Okay, so now that we've connected our Discord account, let's click continue. And we're going to pick a channel. I want it in the channel called memes. I've created just for this. Um, let's see, pick a channel. And we want memes, right? The message, I want it to be, I want it to have the title of the post. And then I also wanted to have the link of the post. This is only going to send the title of the post and then the link of the post. And then Discord is going to be the one who's going to take this information and display it in the chat. But if we leave it like this, pay close attention to this. If we leave it title and then URL, these two things are together. So they're gonna come in like the bear and then the link, and then Discord is not gonna be able to read the link properly. So make a space here in between the two, in between the title and the link, you can leave a space. Or if you don't really care about the title, you can just leave it with the link only. I do wanna include the title. So let me just, right. So here we have it, the title and the link. You can also do the author, but whatever, right? These are reposted posts anyway. So none of this you can change. You can change the name of the um, of the bot that's going to send it. I'm just going to name it what? Uh, I don't know. This stupid meme that I really don't understand about Among Us, right? I don't know, Among Us. Just gonna get a nice image, whatever, uh, Among Us imposter just gonna take this this image i'm going to copy image address and then i'm going to paste it right here in bot icon so on bot icon you're gonna have an image url and then the bot name is going to be like the um, the username um this is going to be the bot icon the profile picture and then the name is going to be this part right here so 
So that's going to be the bot name and the icon. And let's hit continue, right? Now, before we finish it, let's go ahead and test it out. This is going to search for a post and then send it on Discord to just make sure that it's actually working and everything is properly connected, right? So I'm going to click test and review. And this is going to send a post to my Discord server. So let's go ahead and check the post. We have the unread message here. Boom. So as you can see, it has a bot icon and the bot name. And this is the link. It was supposed to embed it. I don't know what happened there, but let's click on it. Okay, so the image is there. Let's see what happened. Okay. So basically I just did a retest and this time it did send the image. So basically when there is a new hot post from Reddit, it is going to send the title and is also going to send the link. And luckily it's going to embed <laughs> the picture right there. So yeah, that's how you can get uh, images from Reddit. I'm going to turn on SAP here. So that's basically like just making sure that it works. Um, I can include the link here. I can just give you guys the link so that you can literally just connect your Discord account and do it yourself. But it's very likely that I will have to just turn it off as soon as I have to make another one when I'm like testing out some other video. So I recommend you to do it yourself and have your own um, SAP turned on with your account um, because this will probably not work by the time you see this video. Or, but I'm going to share it anyway. I'm going to have the link even though it's a dead link uh, at some point. But who knows? I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.